The alien fleet hung menacingly in Earth's orbit, an undeniable threat that cast a shadow over every corner of the globe. The Xenarch, a highly advanced and militaristic alien race, had finally arrived, and their message was clear and chilling. Surrender your planet or face total destruction. In a hastily assembled command center beneath London, the world's leaders gathered, their faces etched with worry. Among them stood James Jim Harrison, a retired British space commander whose expertise was desperately needed. The air buzzed with tension as each leader spoke in turn, debating the ultimatum. Commander Harrison, we need your insight. Prime Minister Elizabeth Carter addressed him directly, her voice steady despite the fear that lurked beneath. Jim, a man of few words, nodded and stepped forward. His gaze swept across the room, taking in the anxious faces of generals, scientists, and politicians. We cannot simply surrender. We must fight. But to do so, we need a plan, and we need it now. As the room fell into a contemplative silence, Jim's mind raced through potential strategies. He knew the Xenarch were technologically superior, but he also knew that humanity's strength lay in its ingenuity and resilience. He outlined a plan to gather the world's best minds and create a unified defense force. The plan was met with a mixture of hope and skepticism. Hours later, Jim stood in front of a diverse group of individuals, each selected for their unique skills. Dr. Mei Lin, a brilliant physicist, Colonel Jack Thompson, a seasoned military strategist, and Captain Aisha Malik, an expert pilot and tactician, among others. They formed the core of Earth's last hope. Jim wasted no time. We are facing an enemy unlike any we have seen before. Our survival depends on our ability to work together and outthink them. Dr. Lin, I need you to analyze their technology. Colonel Thompson, start drafting defensive strategies. Captain Malik, prepare our pilots for immediate action. As the team dispersed to their tasks, Jim felt the weight of the world's expectations on his shoulders. He knew that any misstep could lead to humanity's downfall. The team worked around the clock, blending their knowledge and skills to develop a plan that could stand against the Xenarch threat. Dr. Lin's analysis revealed a potential weakness in the Xenarch's propulsion systems. If exploited, it could buy Earth precious time. Colonel Thompson proposed a series of defensive positions around key global locations, designed to slow the Xenarch advance. Captain Malik organized training sessions, pushing pilots to their limits in preparation for the imminent conflict. Days blurred into nights as the team refined their strategies. Jim moved between them, offering guidance and support, his presence a steadying force. The initial fear began to transform into a determined resolve. Each member of the team brought something vital to the table, and together they crafted a defense that was as innovative as it was bold. The first test of their plan came sooner than expected. Xenarch scouts began probing Earth's defenses, testing for weaknesses. The team's preparations paid off as Earth's forces repelled the initial incursions, but it was clear that these were just preliminary skirmishes. The real battle was yet to come. Jim's leadership was crucial during these early confrontations. He coordinated responses, adjusted tactics on the fly, and kept morale high. His experience and calm under pressure inspired those around him. Even as losses mounted, his determination never wavered. One night, as the team gathered to review the day's engagements, an unexpected message arrived from the Xenarch Command. It was a final warning, demanding Earth's immediate surrender. The room fell silent as the message played the threat unmistakable. Jim stood, facing his team. They underestimate us. They believe we will break under pressure. But they don't understand what it means to fight for our home, our families, our future. We will show them that humanity is not so easily defeated. The team's response was a mix of grim determination and fierce resolve. They knew the coming days would test them in ways they had never been tested before. Yet, they also knew that together they stood a chance. As the Xenarch fleet began its final approach, Earth's defenders were ready. The skies filled with the hum of engines and the glow of energy shields. Humanity's last stand was about to begin, and Jim Harrison was at the forefront, leading with the unwavering conviction that defined his every action. And so, the battle for Earth commenced, 
with the fate of humanity hanging in the balance. The Zenarch had demanded surrender, but what they encountered was a defiant spirit, united and unbreakable. Jim Harrison's team worked tirelessly in the underground command center, the atmosphere thick with urgency. Each member brought a unique expertise that was crucial for humanity's survival. Dr. Mei Lin, renowned for her groundbreaking work in physics, was already deep into her analysis of the Xenarch's technology. Colonel Jack Thompson, whose tactical acumen had been honed through countless military campaigns, was sketching out potential defense strategies. Captain Aisha Malik, an ace pilot with nerves of steel, coordinated the training sessions for the pilots. Jim moved from one group to another, offering insights and ensuring that everyone stayed focused. We need to understand their propulsion systems, he said to Dr. Lin, who nodded, her eyes scanning through the alien schematics. We've identified a potential vulnerability, she replied, pointing to a segment of the Zenark ship's blueprints. Their engines generate an immense amount of energy, but they seem to have a fail-safe mechanism that could be exploited. Good work, May. Jack, I need you to integrate this information into our defensive plans. Jim instructed, turning to Colonel Thompson. We need to be ready to strike at their weak point. As Colonel Thompson began revising the defensive grid, Jim's attention shifted to Captain Malik. How's the pilot training going, Aisha? Intense, she said with a grim smile. But they're adapting quickly. We'll be ready. Jim felt a flicker of hope as he watched his team work with determination and skill. The Xenarch might be formidable, but Earth had its own strengths. The coming days would be crucial, as the reconnaissance mission was set to launch. They needed to gather more intelligence about the Xenarch fleet and test their defenses. The mission was led by Captain Malik with a small squadron of elite pilots. As they departed, the weight of their task was clear. They needed to approach the Xenarch fleet undetected, gather data, and return safely. Jim monitored their progress closely from the command center. Approaching target, Malik's voice crackled over the comms. Activating stealth systems, the Xenarch ships loomed ahead, massive and imposing. The Earth squadron slipped through their defenses, collecting data and mapping out the enemy's positions. Suddenly, alarms blared. Xenarch scouts inbound, Malik reported. We've been detected. Jim's heart pounded. Engage only if necessary. Get out of there. The squadron maneuvered expertly, evading the Xenarch scouts. But a skirmish was inevitable. Energy blasts lit up the void, and Malik's voice remained calm despite the danger. Returning fire, evasive maneuvers. The battle was brief but intense. Earth's pilots demonstrated their skill, downing several Xenarch scouts before making their escape. As they sped back to Earth, the data they carried was priceless. In the command center, Jim and his team pored over the information. They had confirmed the vulnerability in the Xenarch propulsion systems and gathered critical intelligence about their fleet formations. Colonel Thompson immediately began adjusting the defensive strategies. We'll set up ambush points around their likely entry routes. Thompson explained. We can use their own energy output against them. As they prepared for the next phase, Jim couldn't help but feel a surge of pride in his team. They were fighting not just for survival, but for their planet, their people, their way of life. The stakes were unimaginably high, but so was their resolve. The next few days were a blur of activity. Pilots trained relentlessly, scientists worked around the clock, and strategists refined their plans. Each person knew their role and executed it with precision. Jim remained the anchor, providing direction and inspiration. The Xenarch made their move. Scout ships appeared on the edge of Earth's defense perimeter, probing for weaknesses. Earth's defenders were ready. Colonel Thompson's strategies were put to the test as defensive positions engaged the enemy. The initial skirmishes were intense, but Earth's forces held their ground leveraging the Xenarch's vulnerabilities. In one particularly fierce engagement, Captain Malik led a daring sortie that crippled a Xenarch scout ship. The success was a significant morale boost, proving that their strategy was effective. However, it also signaled that the real battle was imminent. As the team regrouped, Jim addressed them. We've proven we can stand against them. Now we need to push harder. 
Every second we hold out is a second we can use to prepare for their main assault. His words resonated with everyone. They knew the hardest part was yet to come, but they were ready to face it together. The Xenarch's demand for surrender had been met with a resolute defiance, and the battle for Earth was just beginning. Jim Harrison's team had barely enough time to regroup after their initial skirmish when the main Xenarch fleet arrived. Their ships filled the sky, an overwhelming presence that dwarfed Earth's defenses. But Jim's resolve never faltered. He knew they had to act swiftly and decisively to stand any chance of survival. In the command center, the atmosphere was electric with anticipation. The team reviewed the latest intelligence, their eyes glued to the screens. Dr. May Lin's analysis had revealed the precise weak point in the Xenarch's propulsion systems, and Colonel Jack Thompson had integrated this into their defensive strategy. We're ready, Jim said, his voice steady. Jack, position the defense units as planned. Aisha, your squadron needs to strike those weak points with precision. Captain Malik, ever the picture of confidence, gave a sharp nod. Understood, Commander. We'll give them something to remember. The plan was set in motion. Earth's forces moved into their positions, each unit knowing the critical role they played in the defense. The Xenarch fleet began its advance, their ships gliding with an eerie grace towards Earth's orbit. The initial wave of Xenarch fighters clashed with Earth's defense units, and the battle erupted with ferocity. Jim coordinated the efforts from the command center, his mind racing through strategies and contingencies. The first few engagements were brutal, with losses on both sides. But Earth's defenders held their ground, exploiting every vulnerability in the Xenarch's technology that Dr. Lin had identified. Captain Malik led her squadron into the heart of the battle, her pilots executing maneuvers with precision. They targeted the Xenarch's propulsion systems, aiming for the weak points. Explosions lit up the sky as Xenark ships were hit, but the fight was far from over. Commander, we need more support on the Eastern Front. Colonel Thompson's voice crackled over the comms. The Xenark are concentrating their forces there. Divert units three and four to the Eastern Front, Jim ordered. We can't let them break through. The battle raged on, with each side pushing their limits. Jim's strategic mind was put to the test as he balanced the need to defend against the Xenarch's relentless assault while searching for an opportunity to turn the tide. Suddenly, a new development caught everyone's attention. A massive Xenarch battleship, larger than anything they had encountered, began moving towards Earth. Its sheer size and firepower threatened to overwhelm the entire defense grid. We need to take that ship down, Jim said, his voice filled with urgency. Aisha, can your squadron handle it? Captain Malik's eyes narrowed with determination. We'll do what needs to be done, Commander. As Malik's squadron closed in on the battleship, the scale of the task became apparent. The ship's defenses were formidable, and it unleashed a barrage of firepower. But Malik and her pilots were undeterred. They weaved through the onslaught, targeting the critical points in the propulsion system. Back in the command center, Jim monitored the operation, his heart pounding. The battle was reaching its critical juncture. He could see the strain on his team's faces, but also their unwavering commitment. Then a breakthrough. One of Malik's pilots managed to hit a crucial weak point, causing a chain reaction. The battleship began to falter, its massive frame shaking as explosions rippled through it. We've got it. Malik's voice came through, triumphant yet strained. Pulling back now, the destruction of the battleship sent a shockwave through the Xenarch fleet. For the first time, the invaders faltered, their advance stalling. It was the opening Jim had been waiting for. All units press the attack, Jim ordered. Push them back. This is our chance. Earth's forces surged forward, their renewed vigor driving them to exploit the Xenarch's hesitation. The tide of the battle began to shift, with Earth's defenders gaining ground. As the Xenarch fleet began to retreat, the command center erupted in a mixture of relief and cautious optimism. The immediate threat had been repelled, but the war was far from over. Jim knew they had won a significant battle, but the Xenarch would return, stronger and more determined. Great work, everyone, Jim said, his voice carrying the weight of the recent victory and the challenges ahead. 
We've bought ourselves some time. Let's use it wisely. Captain Malik and her squadron returned, greeted with cheers and gratitude. Jim met her gaze, a silent acknowledgement of her bravery and skill. They had faced the brink of destruction and emerged victorious, but the fight for Earth was only beginning. The team regrouped, already planning the next steps. They knew the Xenarch would not give up easily, and Earth's defenders needed to be ready for whatever came next. Jim's leadership and the team's unity had proven crucial, and they would need to rely on these strengths even more in the days to come. Earth's defenders had barely tasted the sweetness of their recent victory when a new threat emerged on the horizon. The Xenarch, undeterred by their losses, regrouped with a fleet that dwarfed their previous assault. Jim Harrison and his team knew they had to act quickly to bolster their defenses and develop new strategies to counter the impending attack. In the command center, the atmosphere was thick with concentration and determination. Dr. Mei Lin was working tirelessly, her eyes scanning through complex data streams to find any additional weaknesses in the Xenarch systems. Colonel Jack Thompson meticulously adjusted the defensive grid, ensuring every possible angle of attack was covered. Captain Aisha Malik and her squadron prepared for what promised to be the most challenging battle yet. We've managed to delay them, but they're coming back stronger. Jim addressed his team, his voice unwavering. We need to dig deeper and fight smarter. May, have you found anything new? Dr. Lin looked up from her screens, her expression a mix of exhaustion and resolve. I've identified a secondary power source in their battleships. If we can target and disrupt it, it could leave them vulnerable. Good work, May. Jack, incorporate this into our defense plans. Aisha, prepare your squadron for a focused strike on these power sources. Captain Malik nodded, her eyes gleaming with steely resolve. We'll be ready, Commander. They won't know what hit them. As preparations continued, the team worked in synchrony, each member contributing their expertise. The sense of unity and purpose was palpable. The Xenarch had underestimated the resilience and ingenuity of Earth's defenders, and Jim intended to capitalize on that. The Xenarch fleet approached, their ships gleaming ominously against the blackness of space. The initial wave of fighters engaged with Earth's defense units, and the battle erupted with a ferocity that surpassed the previous encounters. Jim coordinated the defense from the command center his commands crisp and decisive. Aisha, your squadron needs to strike now. Focus on the secondary power sources, Jim instructed, his eyes fixed on the tactical display. Captain Malik led her squadron into the fray, their ships moving with precision and agility. They targeted the power sources, and explosions erupted as the Xenarch ships faltered. The coordinated effort was beginning to pay off, but the battle was far from over. Commander, we're taking heavy fire on the Western Front, Colonel Thompson reported. We need reinforcements. Divert Units 6 and 7 to the Western Front, Jim ordered. Hold the line at all costs. The command center buzzed with activity as Earth's forces adapted to the ever-changing battlefield. The Xenarch's relentless assault tested their defenses, but Jim's strategic mind and his team's unwavering determination kept them in the fight. Then an unexpected development occurred. A massive Xenarch mothership, the core of their fleet, began advancing towards Earth's atmosphere. Its sheer size and firepower posed a dire threat to everything Jim and his team had fought to protect. We need to take that ship down, Jim said, his voice filled with urgency. It's now or never. Captain Malik's voice crackled over the comms. We're on it, Commander. We'll give it everything we've got. As Malik's squadron engaged the mothership, the battle reached its peak intensity. The ship's defenses were formidable, but Earth's pilots were relentless. They weaved through enemy fire, targeting the critical points identified by Dr. Lin. The mothership's shields flickered, then failed, and Malik's squadron delivered a devastating blow to its core. The mothership began to disintegrate, explosions tearing through its structure. The sight of the colossal ship breaking apart sent a wave of hope through Earth's defenders. The Xenarch fleet, seeing their flagship destroyed, began to retreat. Back in the command center, cheers erupted as the tactical display showed the Xenarch forces withdrawing. The immediate threat had been repelled, 
and Earth had won another crucial battle. Jim allowed himself a rare moment of relief. Excellent work, everyone. We've bought ourselves more time. Let's use it to strengthen our defenses and prepare for their next move. As the team began to regroup and assess their next steps, Jim knew that the war was far from over. The Xenarch would undoubtedly return, and Earth needed to be ready. But for now, they had achieved a significant victory, thanks to the bravery and ingenuity of every person involved. Captain Malik and her squadron returned to a hero's welcome. Jim met her with a firm handshake. Outstanding job, Aisha. Your squadron's actions were crucial to our success. Malik smiled, though her eyes reflected the weight of the battle. We did what we had to, Commander, and we'll do it again if necessary. As the team settled into their new rhythm of preparation and vigilance, Jim reflected on the journey they had undertaken. They had faced overwhelming odds and emerged stronger. The fight for Earth's survival continued, but they were ready to face whatever came next, united and determined. 